Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello, Michael. Received your question as follows. How to set up payment from credit card company. Na, 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 na. I got in a $500 deposit in the check register, but when I received the payments from the credit card company, they took out their percentage, so I only received $482.35. And when I go to banking and make all deposits, my bank register shows overstated deposits. Uh, basically, uh, you have a couple ways to attack it. Uh, if you really care about your check register, then you just basically have to deduct it from the invoice or sales receipt. Or uh, what you can do is just basically go to expenses and just add the expenses on the side. And when you reconcile it, you can still reconcile it. So it's really one or the other. So let's go over to QuickBooks, kind of take a look at that real quick. All right, so here we are in an invoice. Uh, we have our line item over here for $500. So what you can do over here, if you really want to see it in the check register, you have to set up an item called, let's say, merchant fees. Set it up. We are going to call it a discount. And it's going to go against what account? It's going to go against your merchant fees accounts. So do I even have one over here? I should have a merchant fees. If I don't have a merchant fees, this is where merchant fees set up that account as an expense save and close save and close I would come over here and I would do minus 16.72 whatever it is and there's your 483 whatever it was so this is one way of tackling that issue if you already know what fees are gonna charge you or you can always come back and do it before reconciliation uh, if you do a lot of these, it could kind of get a little bit tiring and redundant. So I'm going to hit save and close for now. Uh, really another way that you could do it is just accept the money at $500. And then over here for banking, you could do like a write check. And you could do your little merchant processor company. And if they took a total of $700 of fees for the whole month, so you would just do $700 back to that merchant fees account that we just set up hit save and close and when you go do your bank reconciliation then there's your fees associated so you can either do option a you can do option b or you can call your credit card company they probably won't do it but ask them if they could just take the fees out at the end of the month instead of taking it out per transaction because it's making it hard for you to reconcile a lot of these companies do do that nowadays, but yours may just say, no, this is our policy. So actually do that first. See if they can just make it clean for you. I know my company is clean. I get charged 500. I get 500. At the end of the month, they, they take all my fees one shot. I do that bank, write checks, done, deal. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.